What is up everyone? Today we're out here at a, be a beautiful park in southern Ohio and uh, we're going to be looking for some snakes today. Hopefully we can get a few. It's uh, not many clouds in the sky and 65-ish uh, uh, degrees so hopefully we'll be able to pull a few out from under the rocks and maybe if we're lucky we'll see a few basking. Alright, I'll catch you up when we get our first find. Alright, so under this glove right here we have our first find of the day. Little tiny eastern worm snake. These guys are common, and I was really expecting them, expecting to see one today. I actually didn't even think it would take this long. It's I've been searching for about mm, 20 minutes or so, and uh, just now flipped up my first snake. It's beautiful. You can see that. I don't know how well the camera is picking it up, but he's iridescent and whew, he's pretty. All right, I'm gonna take some pictures of him and let him go. All right, we're gonna let this. I'm just gonna let him go. There he goes into the, the leaves. Alrighty, sorry I had to jump on this guy and you couldn't see him in C2, but uh, second snake of the day, little northern black racer. He's going into shed as with most snakes in April, and uh, found him right here, right in this. He started crawling up the road. I mean, not the road, the bank. Um, I was actually coming to flip those rocks over there, and this little guy just happened to. Catch my attention. All right, we'll take some pictures of them and put them back. All righty, take this little guy, let him go. All right, everyone, so you can tell I don't have my hat on. I mean, something's under the hat. Uh, got bit by it so it's pretty big and uh, I'm actually pretty excited about it and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this one since I haven't I didn't really talk about the other two uh, so uh, alrighty I'll show them to you this guy right here is an eastern milk snake Lampropeltis triangulum these guys are actually one of the more common snakes that we find but always a stunner to see uh, this is actually oh, oh there he is this actually is a younger one, and I've seen absolute behemoths out here, closer, pushing four feet easy. So uh, this guy is actually, I believe this guy is a, is a male, a young male. So he, he's actually probably out looking for a mate. I found him, he was curled up over there in those leaves. I flicked back the leaves, and there he was. These guys are prolific snake eaters. Lampropeltis, all of them will eat other snakes. Um, whoa. These guys actually have a little head bobbing motion that is meant to mimic the pygmy rattlesnakes down in the in the uh, southeast. All right, I'm gonna take some pictures of this beautiful little young eastern milk snake and uh, let him go back over into his leaves. All righty, let this guy back directly where I found him. Into his leaf litter he goes. All right, everyone. Now, uh, I know this isn't a snake, but this is a really cool species of flower that's uh, just starting to bloom here in Ohio. It's a dwarf crested iris. Um, these guys are beautiful, beautiful purple, and uh, they like to grow all over the place in colonies. They're all down this bank uh, that I've been driving along, and uh, just wanted to stop by and show them. All right, catch you when we find something else. Alrighty, so just got out of the truck and uh, we have a couple different cool flower species right off the bat. Our first one here is, this guy right here is the large flowered trillium. These guys are one of the most common trillium species in the state of Ohio. And uh, you can tell it's a trillium by the three, the three leaves that branch off and that, that are, and they're all on the same level. And the white flower that also has three petals. Our next flower species are cool plant species is this. This guy right here is called a bloodroot. There's another one right there in the sun and there's a couple more over there by that trash. But these guys usually have bright white flowers but uh, it's, it's a little too late in the year for them now. Our third species for here is this beautiful purple flower. This is called phlox. This is a very common flower. I'm sure many people have seen it. You see there's a whole whole bunch up there. All right. Here at this stream, and we're going to search for some salamanders. Alrighty, now this was unexpected. I'm just walking up this stream, and I hear this darting noise, and 
all of a sudden this massive black racer shot by sorry i couldn't get the catch on film he was super fast Ooh, don't bite me don't bite me so yeah this is a a bigger an adult version of the of the snake we caught earlier um and you can tell these guys are super feisty and they are not afraid to bite this guy is super long he's probably pushing five foot four and a half feet and uh these guys will eat these guys are super fast hence the name black racer they hunt down their food instead of sit there and wait like other species will uh these guys will chase down whatever they're trying to eat this guy has definitely been eating good see right there he's had some sort of an injury in his past but uh I'm gonna take some pictures of this guy and I'm gonna let him go. Alrighty guys, here is uh, here's some film of him next to my hat. You can see he is quite a chunky, chunky northern racer, northern black racer. He got me on the finger. Didn't really hurt. Just it was a quick bite. Um, and so I'm gonna take a few more pictures of this guy and then. I'll probably let him go. Alrighty. Talk to you later. Alright. So I found him up here on this hill. And he's not going to move because he wants to fight me. Because he thinks that I'm going to eat him. So uh, I'm just going to leave him here. And uh, continue on my way and he'll, he'll eventually scurry off back into the woods. Alright everyone, I'm hiking this stream and looking for salamanders. And I found one of my targets. This guy right here is a Kentucky Spring Salamander. This guy is actually an adult. Um, he's about six inches long and he will probably grow maybe another inch to two inches. Um, these guys are the apex predator of this, of this little tiny stream. These guys eat other, uh, other salamanders. In fact, their favorite species of salamander is the Northern Dusky. Uh, these guys are actually a very, very, very cool tolerant species. I found one on January 2nd, which isn't very surprising for this type of salamander. I'm going to take a few pictures of them and release them back where I found them. All right, so there's a spring salamander I just found. Flip this rock. There's another one. I'm not going to pull this guy out because I already took pictures of one. So I'm just going to replace this rock and be on my way. The next species of the trip, I mean of this stream, pickerel frog. Oh, there he is. I'm not gonna mess with him, let him go. All right, everyone, I've already flipped this log and know what's under it, but boom, that right there is a Midland mud salamander. All right, this guy's right here is a Midland mud salamander. It's probably a girl considering how little plump she is. But uh, this is a state-threatened species, and uh, one I was not expecting to find. Um, oh, she's so beautiful. Look at all those black polka dots on her, and uh, that strawberry red. She's beautiful. Oh, there she goes. She's going back. She's sick of me. So these guys inhabit hillside streams, rocky streams, spring-fed streams mainly, and seeps. Seeps are where water will come up through the ground and collect on top, and that is exactly where I found this big girl. All right, I'm gonna take some pictures and then I'm going to let her go. All right, everyone, I cannot complain. Today was an amazing day. We ended the day with three species of lizard, three species of snake, seven species of salamander, and one type of frog. It was an amazing day. We got to see some really cool species and uh, some really cool uh, plants as well. Um, here soon, the venomous snakes are going to start waking up and we're going to be able to get out and see them. And I can't wait for that. So uh, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and uh, tell me what you want to see. All right, see you guys next time.